Hi, I'm Alexander Miller, the new chief engineer here on the Oliver Hazard Perry. On Ask Us Anything, you asked us how a diesel engine works. Well, we got five of them, so let's head down to the engine room and uh, I'll show you around. So, a little history. In the 1880s, the most significant inventions were all centered around steam. Steam engines used a lot of coal, which were very expensive, large, and extremely inefficient. Rudolf Diesel decided there was a better way. By studying thermodynamics, Diesel found that he could make a smaller internal combustion engine that would attempt to convert all heat into work. The diesel engine was born. Because the diesel engine has the highest thermal efficiency, or engine efficiency, of any practical internal combustion engine, it proved to be revolutionary among the steam-powered engines of the 19th century. Diesel engines have changed the way that the world works, and they allow for bigger boats, more powerful engines, and more trading overseas. Our engine room is located back aft, all the way below. So now we're here down in the engine room. We got five different engines. This is our C12 Caterpillar main engine. It drives our propeller and the port side actually has a takeoff where it powers a emergency bilge pump. We also have a second main engine, which is on the starboard side. Over here on the port side, we have a John Deere diesel engine that powers the electrical generator and power takeoff for hydraulic applications. And over here on the starboard side, we have the same John Deere diesel engine that also powers a generator and has the power takeoff for hydraulic applications as well. In the container back here, we have an emergency diesel generator a Caterpillar engine, and if we happen to black out at sea, that would power critical operations such as communications, fire pumps, things of that nature. All right, so the working principle of a diesel engine is we're turning chemical energy into mechanical energy. The chemical energy is inside the diesel fuel itself, and it happens when a reaction occurs, in this case combustion, when an explosion happens. So the mechanical energy output of a diesel engine is done by the shaft. The shaft is a rotational energy, which we call torque. So there's four steps that make this work. Suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. The first part of the process is called intake. The piston is at the top of the cylinder, and the intake valves open. The piston moves down, increasing the volume of the cylinder. Because the intake valve is open, air gets sucked in and fills in the volume. The next part of the process is called compression. The piston is at the bottom of the cylinder. All valves close tightly. The piston begins to move up the cylinder, but the air has nowhere to go. Basically, now we're squeezing or compressing the air, which is also known as the heat of compression. Diesel fuel generally auto-ignites at 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of burning, the next stage is combustion. To make a big fiery explosion, we need a mixture of fuel, air, and heat. The fuel injector sprays in diesel in a fine mist. We have all the ingredients. Now we get to harness the power of a controlled explosion. Bang! The explosion now pushes the piston down rapidly. When the piston reaches the bottom, the exhaust valve opens. As the volume shrinks in the cylinder, the smoke will be forced out of the cylinder, clearing the way for the next cycle. So thanks for asking us how a diesel engine works, and I hope you have a better understanding of what the diesel engines do here on the Oliver Hazard Perry. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun videos from the Oliver Hazard Perry.